I'm gonna show you what to do if you want to pause the video as you are recording it and then continue when it's tap on record again. So if you want to use it and get that feature, just keep watching this video. First of all, the first thing that you should do is to not look for it in the stock camera app of Apple of iOS. It is simply not there. Maybe we can expect it in iOS 15, who knows, but as of right now, in the latest iOS version of iOS 14, it is still not there, it has never been part of our iPhones, and I'm not here to discuss if it's annoying or not, apparently it is, I'm not saying Apple is stupid for not adding this, we could talk about it, but that's a different topic. What can we do about it? Well, there are actually two apps on the App Store which only do this, like their only purpose is to replicate this feature. And those apps actually work, they get the job done. One of them is called Pause Cam, and it is free to download, but when you open it up, you have to enable the microphone and camera access naturally. But then you get this page which only shows a blank screen with the record icon in the middle, which is already a huge mistake, like how are you supposed to start recording something when you don't even know where the camera is pointing, like this doesn't make any sense at all. But yeah, you are supposed to or you are using this app in order to use the pause feature, which works. You start the recording and then you can click on the recording icon one more time and it's gonna pause the video and you can hit and continue with the video. So it kind of works, right? But the problem is when you click on the check mark in the upper right corner to finish the video, then you at first get this nasty watermark, which you can remove, but you have to pay for the full version. And if you want to export this video, you have to watch an ad. And if you don't want to, then again, you have to pay for the uh, premium version. So that is super annoying. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, I want to say really quick that you should definitely consider subscribing because I try to post videos like these where I get or try to be in your shoes and try to solve the problem that you currently have. So for that, I think that you should subscribe so you don't miss the next videos when I do this again. So if you want to go through this, then I guess that it makes sense. You can download this app, but I wouldn't personally. And if only this wouldn't be enough, you don't even have the full quality of the video when you don't pay for the full premium version. So it's kind of sketchy, I would say, at least, of course. The premium version costs about two euros if you go to the premium version from the free app, but on the App Store they have pretty much the same looking app for five euros, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. But let me show you and tell you the real solution that I would suggest. I would suggest you to simply use the basic camera app. From the iOS, there is everything you need, all the quality settings, you can be sure that the quality is gonna be best because it's a stock Apple iOS app. So the integration is perfect and you can definitely expect the best quality. And for the parts where you cannot really pause the recording, I would simply suggest you to stop the recording and have multiple shots in your gallery and then sort of join them together the way you want. It's gonna take a lot less time and a lot of less hassle and worrying and being angry at the whole thing. For this, I would suggest you downloading an app like CapCut or something else that works fine for you, it's up to you, but CapCut is free, it doesn't have like a watermark or anything and it's gonna be so much simpler to do this instead of using the app which has like so many ads but allows you to pause videos. There's also another pretty similar app with the same principle. The very same principle is applied. It's very annoying. It, they simply try to get you to purchase the full version. So if you want to use the app, just do it the right way because there are ads like every single time you pause the video recording, which is like the only reason you download the app. And every time you pause it, there is an ad which you have to close. I mean, that would be really annoying. I would just really have like multiple clips of uh, like um, laying in my gallery instead of using this. Not saying against the developers, but they their clear purpose is simply to get you paid. I mean, if you're okay with that, then it's, it can be a very useful app. I'm not saying that, but if you're looking for a free solution, like 
Right now you can record your videos for free using the stock iOS app. So it's kind of, I don't know, like you have to pay for just simply pausing the video. I'm not sure if it makes a lot of sense to me. If you want to just go ahead and do so. But it's really something that Apple could bring with like one update and simply make these apps useless. So I'm not sure how to feel about it. I'm giving you, I'm actually giving you all the things that I know about it. And if you are happy with the solution, then leave a thumbs up. Uh, don't be mad at me. I'm not making up the stuff in your camera app the way that you lag, like the pause button in your camera. It's not my fault. So thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And for more content like this, definitely subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned. Stay updated and yeah, see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.